welcome to In Spiritual Journey. So we are in your season, so happy birthday. We are going to get August messages for you. So this is for the collective, so please take what resonates and let go of what doesn't. So we're just going to see where you're at frequency-wise, any surprises that might make you come up or challenges, um, and some advice. So let's go ahead and jump right on in, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is um, check out the frequency that you might be in at this time or that's surrounding you. So let's get a few cards. That's the frequency that the sign of Leo is in for August. So we have cooperation. So, you know, just kind of going along with the flow, just being cooperative. Let's see what else is coming up. It might require you to be expression and what else? And then we have freedom. Okay. So being free to express yourself, but in a cooperative manner, not like being, uh, you know, going against the grain. We can go against the grain, but it's how we um, react to people, how we express ourselves that can either make or break us, basically. You know, we can come at people and be all aggressive and assertive. You know, there's a difference between aggressive and, and assertive, actually. So it's how you approach things. You can get your point across and have that freedom but you have to be a little bit flexible so there's harmony at the bottom too so there's some kind of message here about the way you're expressing yourself this month um you know be careful not to get too much into your ego because our ego can make us more assertive um fearful um aggressive you know uh, you know like i said that assertion is good but it's come how we come across that we that people will react to us you know we can trigger people or we can do it in a way that we can persuade them in a gentle way that's har more harmonious and we get our way so let's go ahead and see what the general energy is i'm going to read these cards first so cooperation in your quest to manifest the energy of love you realize that every person experiences value so yes this is very true people on our path whether they're challenging um, and maybe we don't resonate with them, they still have a purpose on our path. So this is working with that. You know, you ever notice that our challenges help us to um, be able to manage life a little bit better. They, it might seem like overwhelming at first, but you know, and like more of a burden and obstacle, but it figures, it gets us to figure out um, how we can approach things and how we can go about things in a more smooth manner. Expression, it says you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. So again, I've noticed like me as an Aries, I've noticed that in my past, you know, I was pretty easygoing and then people would take advantage of you. But then when I got aggressive and like more in your face, um, sometimes it would work, but then it would intimidate people. And then sometimes that would create the opposite effect that I wanted. And then when I just started to pick and choose my battles, and come across it in a more assertive but not aggressive way it seemed to work a lot better and then we have this freedom which you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness and i feel like this too is feeling like people might be against you you know make sure you're you're not looking at that people are out to get you or against you or blocking your path they have their own issues and situations so a lot of people, like not just us, they get triggered as well. So depending on how they were raised or how they, um, their patterns of belief systems or their healing or anything like that can change that situation. So, you know, we have to address that as we go and not allow that to trigger us as well because sometimes their wounds will trigger us. So let's go ahead again and get this general energy for you. General energy the sign of Leah for the month of August can you believe we're in August already wow all right general energy for Leo okay so we have the wheel of fortune see things are changing things are shifting that wheel is moving then we have the four of pentacles yeah so see you got to be a little more giving because when we are just like okay you're doing it my way or the highway kind of energy it will block some energy and wow this is a different completely card but we have seeing things in a new perspective that was meant to come out so yeah there's something you need to look at differently you know because we can try to force our way but that's not going to work too well 
it might work a little bit yeah there's some might be some healing that you need to do too so it might be some way that you were raised or something from your past that makes you be like i said when i got pushed over a lot or taken advantage of or betrayed i started being more aggressive in your face you know like oh okay you're doing it this way i'm not settling for anything else but like i said sometimes that would get over on people but then it would intimidate them and a lot of times they would back off or it would create more chaos and friction so this is seeing things in a different way leo this general energy there might be some healing that you're needing to get to your dreams and wishes there might be a different way to look at things okay maybe you're going about things the wrong way all right and we have the four of pentacles so you know not closing yourself off as well either and being a little giving you know like i said people are going through their own issues um so you know we can we can assume things we can try to force things but we don't know what other people are going to we don't know their background or what their wounds are or things like that so being in a place where we don't allow other people's issues and behaviors trigger us where we close off okay and let this wheel turn because this is a wheel that's turning trying to turn but if you keep living those same patterns of the way you're doing things or seeing things in a certain way or the same wounds that haven't healed you're going to get stuck on this wheel and it's not going to move forward all right so let's go ahead and see what is uh coming up let's see what's coming up what is coming up for you in august let's see what's coming up what's coming up for leo in august okay so we have the ten of cups look at this happiness emotional bliss so i love that energy for you and it's under this wheel and cooperation so you know kind of going with more with the flow being a little more um cooperative with people and situations you know not trying to block it off or assert things or force things then that's going to create this emotional bliss and what else is coming up expression was with the four of pentacles too so you know being able to express yourself in a healthy manner, you know, not holding back, not allowing triggers to get to us. So let's see what else is coming up about. And that creates a lot of power for you. Yeah, say again, this ha different perspective. You got to see things in a different perspective. Things aren't actually out to get you. They're trying to teach you a lesson and to be able to allow you to express yourself in a healthy manner to be able to accomplish that abundance and happiness that you want. All right, let's see about this. What do we have here? We have that freedom with the star healing and wishing on those stars and seeing things in a different perspective. Let's see what else is coming up. Justice, yeah, see? So this is a karmic lesson here as well because all the things that happen to happen to us, they're not out to really get you. They are more to make you expand and learn and grow from. Yes, they're challenging, they're hurtful, but, you know, it's basically telling you, like, if you keep going this way, you're going to keep getting the same results, you know? Like they always say, our mindset is our reality. So it's seeing things in a different perspective, you know, allowing that justice to be handled by the universe, our spirit guides, all that thing things and you know not everyone we can't judge one person by somebody from our past you know yes they might remind us of that we might be bitter but we have to let go of that because we have to move forward on this journey without holding that baggage and, and grudges and re revenge and all that along the way so and on the bottom we have that three of swords so see this is some kind of hurt betrayal from our past so we have to let that go we can't carry that with us because all that's going to do is jade us and make us walk through life with these rose colored glasses on so let's go ahead and get um something to be aware of let's see what to be aware of here what should we be aware of what do we need to be aware of leo in august something that leo needs to be aware of in august please what does leo need to be aware of in august ah yeah see we're always going to have people out to get us and try to sneak one over on us or betray us and things like that. So be aware. And this is saying, you know, to be ready for those triggers. But you need to realize that, unfortunately, we have to look at life like, yeah, not everybody has our back. It's kind of a bad way to go. But this is healthy boundaries. And this is when people do throw this shade or betrayals at us that we have within us the ability to take a step back, not react not get aggressive, not try to get revenge, but to take a step back and say, okay, why is this triggering me? What haven't I healed? 
what can I let go of and to realize that that person is in a place that they haven't healed, right? They haven't healed. They're bitter. They're out to, to get people because they're trying to relieve that pain, even if it's for a few seconds. I'm not saying we condone it, but we don't need to react to it because that's exactly what they want. They want us to react. That's what they're trying to get. It makes them feel better, unfortunately. So this is stepping back, realizing, you know, why did this trigger me? And how do I want to react? Even if you just have to like step back and kind of mentally count to five or 10 and say, you know, I'm not going to let this person get under my skin. It's something that I got to look at and see why this is triggering me. And I'm going to move forward with my best self and come from a place of integrity. And I'm not going to stoop to their level, right? Because it's going to benefit you. And it's going to allow that wheel to turn for that car, you know, because we, we react and we join in their low vibration. We're just going to repeat that cycle and that karma. So we can't do that because that's not going to help us at all. You know, yeah, we might get one over on them and zing them once and maybe think that we're going to sting them, but it's not going to do you any good. So you have to look out for yourself, not other people. Let them handle their own journey. Let the universe take care of them, right? So see, it just creates this lack within. So let's see what else is coming up. What else? What else to be aware of? Okay. So be aware that if you have a decision to make, yes, it might be a hard decision, but you've got to pick one. You got to pick one and trust that intuition to lead you along the way. And if you're afraid of you might make the wrong choice, just realize that every choice you make has a consequence. And whether it's the right one or not, it's always going to be a lesson. So I would say go with your gut, go with your intuition and pick the best one that's best for you. Don't let other people persuade you. So there's going to be a tough decision coming up for you. And let's see what else. One more to be aware of. Mm, okay. So you might be a little independent and on your own a little bit. So something that you might be going through, you might want to have that support, but it might be something that you need to go on your own. You know, so again, this is not letting other people's opinions, decisions, their advice, their, you know, trying to be helpful, but unwanted advice to persuade you. This is something that you got to do independently. All right. So just be aware of that. You know, you have the answers within. Don't allow other people to influence you. And this is saying you have to make that decision and make sure you're not going all based on this betrayal. Do it from the place of integrity and what's in your highest good. Okay. And that stable energy. All right. So we have here with this cooperation, we have the wheel turning. It can lead to your happiness, but you have to let go of all those betrayals and realize that they taught us a lesson. They made you stronger. Don't hold on to them. Don't drag them in the past. Don't let, let them influence your decisions. With this expressing, expressing yourself, don't hold back. I'm sorry, I got an itchy nose. What's that mean? Somebody's talking about you. <laughs> so don't let that hold you back. Express your truth, okay? In a assertive but not aggressive manner, okay? Um, hangman, see things in a different perspective, see things from the outside the box, you know, realize that people do have good, um, ideas and, 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 uh, things that we, you know, it's not always, we have to be right. So that's another thing to look at and, you know, make this decision for based on your intuition and from after gather, gathering all the information that you want. Okay. And then we have this freedom will come in. You know, once you've finished all that healing, once you set your intentions for the wishes you desire, after you have seen the big picture, you know, not based on our betrayals, on our hurts, what other people say, any of that. And then we have this justice, you know, again, uh, don't stoop to a lower level because of other people, those betrayals and things like that. Don't react from that. This is a fair, unbiased choice that's best for you. And this is a choice that you have to make on your own, okay? So let's go ahead and get the advice. Let's get the advice. Let's get the advice for you for the month of August. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yes. You know, continue on those dreams and wishes that you want, you know? The stars are aligning for you. You just got to heal whatever you're holding on to that might be hindering your decisions out of, you know, bitterness, regret, unworthiness any of that so there is some alignment coming in with the stars and you're ready for it you just got to you know 
don't base your decisions on anybody else's opinions of you, any other betrayals that has happened to you, anything like that. You know, and this is also like connecting, connecting to your spirit guides, the universe and all that, you know, setting your intentions in that cord, co-creating, all right, as well as this king of wands, well, there you are, stay in your empowerment, but in a gracious, integritous way, okay, not try to bully, don't try to force, this is coming to someone in a aligned manner, you see that lion in the background, there you are, you're all empowered, right, you don't have to force anything, that strength comes from within, in a, in a gracious way, and then, yeah, Five of Swords. Yeah, this is that mental conflict. So be careful of that underlying energy of, you know, going back to the past, things that have hurt you, unworthiness, fear, any of that. And then we have, what else is coming in for the advice? Yeah, look, it's time for a transformation here. The universe and spirit are saying, you're ready to transform. You're ready to let go of all that past baggage. You know, the past is the past. It's not going to do any good for our future except the wisdom and the lessons we learned, okay? And then on the bottom, we have that King of Swords, seeing things for what they truly are, okay? Realizing that people come from a place of where they're at. It has nothing to do with you personally, all right, okay? So, what else can we get here? Let's see. Or I guess we can go ahead and clarify some of these. So let's get some more information just on what's coming up if you follow the advice. That's a good one. Let's get the uh, what's coming up if you follow the device. So with this cooperation, with this wheel turning, with this happiness coming in, if you let things flow and letting go of the betrayals, um, setting your intentions, finishing up that healing, um, planning your dreams. So again, we have the King of Swords again. See what's coming up is you live your truth. You live your best life, right? What else? Okay, so what's coming up? You're going to be contemplating things about how to move forward. You're going to like, once you get into this um, energy of transforming and rebirth and letting go of the past, you are going to contemplate and figure out like, what is it that you really want to set your intentions on? What's going to make you happy, right? And the page of pentacles is moving forward with that new beginning on what's going to make you happy, right? So then with this energy of expressing yourself, as well as, you know, uh, releasing any chains around your heart, any guardedness, but setting healthy boundaries as you move forward, um, not holding back, um, living your empowered life, seeing things in a different perspective, as well as making a decision to move forward, not holding back. Let's see what else is coming up. What else is coming up for your future? Look at that. Your truth. A beginning of living your truth, authenticity, um, best life. Yep, who you really are. No one else is going to stop you. And then what is coming up for, for this freedom that you're going to be experiencing, as well as that healed energy, living your dreams, um, a fair and just life, making that decision and being abundant independently um, with this new transformation. Let's see what else is coming up. What's this? new energy coming in for you what is coming up for your future if you follow this advice letting go of all those betrayals realizing that this is overkill you know that's what's happening this is not what's going to happen to you this is what you're letting go of you're going to let this go those betrayals are going to make you stronger and more empowered and you're going to move forward and as you can see See? Yeah, success. These are going to make you stronger. They're going to be like stepping stones. You see, she's looking at her phone. She's not even that hurt. It's like overkill. It's all in her mind because the Ten of Swords is all in your mind. I mean, yes, we do get betrayed. I'm not saying that, but the way we react to it. So the things that we react to. So what's going to happen in your, in your future if you listen to this advice? She's going to be so chill when things happen because she's going to realize that, you know what? They are just trying to trigger me. They're trying to make themselves feel better, even if it's temporary, and I'm not going to feel for that. That's their problem. It's not me personally, and this is going to lead to this success. So that is great advice to, to move forward with, right? All right, so we're just going to do a couple more decks just to see what else wants to come up for you. Let's see what else wants to come up for you. 
I know what we'll see. Let's see if there's any certain people around you. Okay, so we look. We might have a relationship that is trying to get one over on you, sneaky, manipulating. So there's, it doesn't have to be an intimate relationship, but there could be. See, this is what triggers us, and this is what you have to be aware of. There's somebody coming in, manipulating, tricking. Uh, it could be a connection where, you know, lovers is usually an intimate connection, but it can be a close relationship. So there could be some manipulation going on and that can make us definitely bitter, but this is, um, make it such a burden for you. Right. And this is removing that, removing that, seeing for, for what it is. So I feel like there's some energy of someone around you that's been kind of manipulating you, deceiving you, maybe even downright lying or stealing from you. And this is finally releasing that burden. And seeing things for what it is removing that mask yeah so there's some energy here that you know if you're having some issues with you know where you're trying to be forceful where you're trying to persuade somebody to do something by force this is saying you know this is an issue they're not going to change no matter how much you force some people have to change on their own so this is letting that go and then on the bottom we have that ten of pentacles so it could be somebody in your family your home life your, your partner but this is that abundant life and to have an abundant life we have to, if with somebody, they have to be on board too. So if they're not going to be on board in their highest self, then it's not going to move forward. You're going to stay in that level. So I feel like you might be outgrowing this situation, but you're resisting and you're trying to force them to change. And we can't change anybody, unfortunately. That's, that's the thing. So I heard this quote one time where it says women want to change their partner, right? But the men always want the partner to never change. So, yeah. So there's some kind of energy here that somebody might be manipulating. They might not be in their highest self. And it's really getting to you. And it could make you a little emotional and being more aggressive. And this is saying to release that. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some more. What else? Yeah, the high priestess. This is say stand in your higher self. Then we have the six of cups. Yeah, it's time to leave this turbulence behind. Whatever's creating chaos in your life and creating this, yeah. See, there's, there could be a karmic cycle in your life right now, a karmic lesson, a, kar a karmic relationship. And this is saying you need to leave that behind. We have the high priestess. This is time to, you've raised your vibration. You're staying stuck in this lower vibrational energy, maybe because you're caring or you think you can change things. You're trying to force it and it's just not working. Um, like I said, you can't change people. So this is moving forward and allowing the, the karmic lesson and wisdom and strength that you've gained to advance you as well as letting the universe take care of it. Okay, it could be a Libra. It doesn't have to be. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. The fool. Yeah, it's time to take a risk and start a new adventure here, Leo. All right. And we're going to do one more deck. I haven't done this one yet. What else wants to come up? Last message here for Leo for August. Okay. Yeah, everything in moderation and be patient. Your time is coming, but you have to do the work and you have to move forward, okay? And then we have that two of wands and there's something again about this decision. There's a tough decision for you to make, but you need to make a decision and you need to make a decision in your high, your highest good, okay? Don't be fearful, just move forward, all right? What else? Last message. How about some advice, universe and spirit? Last two cards, advice and for Leo. You know, don't let this close off your heart. See the beauty in the world just because somebody betrayed you doesn't mean you close off your heart space, okay? It's time to move forward. There are beautiful things out there, so don't let this jade you. You have a beautiful heart. Don't let this jade you. That's what the universe and spirit are saying. They commend you for that. Yeah. Take some time out and contemplate things. See things for what they really are. Okay? Look at how your, your mind is perceiving things. Okay? And know that you are worthy and deserving of love. You're, you're deserving of respect. And it's if you're not getting it, it's time to move forward and not take things personally. All right, Leo? So that is your message. Yeah. 
Yeah, because this seems like it kind of maybe destroyed who you were and it's time to move forward. Whatever this was, this tower moment. You know, it made you stronger. It wasn't meant to destroy you. It was made to make you stronger and to realize your worth. So that is your message, Leo. And again, happy birthday. And thanks so much for joining me. Take care. Bye. Thank you.